Welcome back to Gabriel Knight Sends the Fathers. I don't know how many times I've tried to record this. I'm hoping this will be a fine. I don't have any uh, glitches. But anyway, welcome back to Gabriel Knight Sends the Fathers. Last left, left off, we had uh, attended a uh, lecture at Tumulang University, uh, and we talked to the Professor Hartridge, I believe his name was, and he told us that the voodoo aspects of the uh, case were not faked like the papers were saying that there was actually evidence that they were real and uh, anyway let's head to the police station because I believe Mosley was going to interrogate a suspect there and if my suspicions are correct he's also going to uh, since he probably found out we uh, stole his badge he's probably gonna get really mad at us very careful he may arrest us <laughs> Nah, I think they're too good of friends to ever do that to us. You never know. Let's see. You son of a <laughs> Give me back my <laughs> Now, Knight! Nah, he's really mad. Sure. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Borrow it? Well, you borrow it again in your history. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. About today. Glad you made it. It'll mm. give you a feel for how I am in action, uh -huh. handling suspects, that sort of thing. I guess he I'm let sure us off with the. I guess he let us off with a warning. Uh, who is this guy anyway? <laughs> Calls himself Crash. He's been an informant for us before, mostly helping us bust small-time pimps and dealers trying to break into the territory. Well, he's been staying invisible during these murders, but we picked him up this morning to Jackson Square, pushing coke. He knows something. Call it Detective's Instinct. Mm -hmm. Detective's Instinct. Got it. Got it. Alright, Crash. I want to hear about these murders. You've been present at the so-called voodoo ritual? I don't know nothing. I told you. Mm. Come on now, you can tell me. Do you know anyone who's been to these rituals? Look. I can't say nothing. You gotta let me go, man. Now you relax. No one knows you're here. The men who picked you up were plain clothes men. Plain clothes? Like you could fool them. Exactly. They know I'm here. They've got ears all over the city. Yeah, they do. They know everything. Now who are they, Crash? Are they the ones doing the murder? Yeah. Let me go! If you're so worried about being detained, start talking. You tell me what I want to hear, and maybe I can get you in the witness protection program. But you have to earn it. Witness protection? Are you crazy? Don't make me laugh. Jesus, just let me out of here. Now, come on. Who's behind these murders, Crash? Why are the victims all members of the underworld? By now they know I'm here. I mean, it's, it's different when I'm supposed to come here. Well, I can send a message. Tell him I didn't say nothing. Christ, he's freaking useless. Take him back to detain him, would you, Tony? No, that was pointless uh, interrogation. We learned nothing. I tell you, times like this, I'd kill for true serve and damn the civil rights. Can, you, can I quote you on that? Can I quote you on that? <laughs> huh? Hell no. <laughs> We only keep him for 24 hours. Tomorrow morning, I might have to let him go. Sorry, it wasn't more exciting. Mm -hmm. For the book, I mean. Maybe you can punch it up some. You know, what do they call that? Fiction. Fiction. That's it. It certainly is. I'll see what I can do. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Let's ask him some about some stuff that I'm sure he knows nothing about. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. All right, let's ask him about that. Do you know anything about a secret <laughs> voodoo hound fool? Oh, come <laughs> on. Someone's pulling your leg, Knight. Are you sure? There's nothing secret about voodoo in New Orleans. There's a museum, for Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's the stuff they yeah. want you to see. You're getting mighty paranoid, Knight. <laughs> Do you know anything about the babies? What? Bebes. They're ritualistic patterns used in voodoo. You know, like those marks we found around the body. You know what the department says about that night. That voodoo stuff is fake. Yeah, well, they're wrong. Yeah. These bebes 
look, just stop worrying about them, Marks. I don't think they're relevant. Actually, they're totally relevant. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? Sounds like a put on to me. Alright, we're done here then. Let's get out of here. Well, I'll be seeing you. Have a good one. Yeah. You too. Uh, let's get out of here. Where should I head first? Ah, uh, let's head to the cemetery. Because we got some stuff to ask this guy about now, too. Could I have a minute of your time? Yeah? What can I do for you? Mind if I pick your brain a minute? Go ahead. Go ahead. These folks aren't in a hurry. in no hurry. Yeah. Alright. Cool, daddy -o. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Sure, sure. She was the voodoo queen of New Orleans. Yeah. A powerful voodooine and a powerful sorceress. Believers still come to her tomb, you know. Mm -hmm. They write secret marks on the walls, leaving offerings and things. Then there's the tourists. They come out of curiosity. As a matter of fact, that big Dr. John fell mm, That's tomb interesting. Museum, he's here at least once today. That's interesting. Marie Laveau's tomb ain't the only one the believers visit and make markings and leave offerings at. Uh, other mark tombs? You said there were other oh, we got punch for that. tombs? <laughs> yep. I seen bull hearts left on tombs and a nest of vulture feathers, plates of peas and corn green, animal parts, human parts even it looked like. Male parts. Male parts. If you get my meaning. My meaning. And I think you do. And this at one of the great family crypts, mind you. Odd how them types just pick a spot and stick to it. Mm-hmm. Well, anything done? What other tombs get marked? Can you show me? No, no, no. I ain't one for naming names. I don't like to encourage that kind of thing. It's distressing to the families and rightly so. Don't know how that sort of thing gets started. Why folks come to start leaving stuff at that one spot. But it happens all the same. You probably don't know anything about Marie Lebeau, uh, who's on Do you know right? anything? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't think about babies? Do you know anything about babies? I don't know what you're talking about. What about animal masks? Do you know anything? I don't know what you talk. Okay, you don't know about that. You don't know much about anything, does he? Uh, black Do voodoo? you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? I see lots of voodoo markings in this cemetery. I seen graves dug up and stuff you don't want to know about stolen from them. But voodoo, black voodoo, sounds like a devil of a distinction, you ask me. Mm-hmm. Let's ask. Uh, let's head this way then. See what's going on back here. Maybe we'll run into somebody. Oh look! It's it's Malia. Hey, Malia. Malia. Mr. Knight, what are you doing here? Uh, my family's tomb is here. Smooth, Smooth Knight. <laughs> I noticed. Mm -hmm. Subtle. Well, Mr. Knight, if there's nothing else. Don't go. I need to talk to you. Whatever for. I can't stop thinking about you. I've been in your thoughts, too. I can see it in your eyes. Mm. Mr. Knight, you don't know anything about me. I'm not in a position to get involved. I've said that a million times myself, but this is different. I think we both know we can't fight it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this. I have so many obligations. My family is very traditional. You wouldn't understand. Hey, I love tradition. <laughs> I've seen Fiddler on the uh, Roof a hundred times. Uh -huh. This isn't a musical, Mr. Knight. We live in different worlds. Look, I know you've got more money than God. Do you think I care? Do you think that's why I'm saying this? No, I don't. Why don't you come see my world? I have a little bookshop, St. George's, on Bourbon. I know. See? I knew it. You're crazy about me, too. Come back tonight, please. My world isn't so bad. I'm sorry. But there's no place for someone like you in my life. Not now, not ever. Poor Gabriel. Damn it. Poor Gabriel. Your heart really goes out to him. Especially um, with Tim Curry. I mean, like, he's just so good at this. 
uh, desperation in his voice. It's so palatable, you know. Uh, let's uh, head over. Uh, let's head to the Voodoo Museum. Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. Uh, you won't be after I ask you these questions. <laughs> could I ask you some more questions? Of course. I also find our dialogue stimulating. Do you know anything about animal masks? Do you know anything about animal masks? I used to have some uh -huh. animal -huh. masks. Uh -huh. but they were on the point of disintegration, so I removed them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know anything about Veves? Uh-huh. I believe they have something to do with Haitian food. He's probably confused. That is not really my area. That probably shocked him that you knew what that is. <laughs> Do you know anything about a secret voodoo hound fool? Don't be ridiculous, Mr. Knight. The voodoo churches in the city have no need for secrecy. And it probably shocked you that he knew what that word meant. <laughs> Do you know anything about black voodoo? That sort of viewpoint mm. makes my work very difficult, Mr. Knight. I'm not implying that all voodoo is evil, but there are certain practitioners that use voodoo towards a darker end, aren't there? No one that I am familiar uh -huh. with. If there are one or two ignorant believers, that is none of my concern. And I do not care to promote a Hollywood mm -hmm. film by discussing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think you're really mad at us all of a sudden. Uh, let's talk about Molly Getty. Do you know Malia Getty? Should I? She referred me to your museum. Many have read about our museum in the newspapers, Mr. Knight. Uh -huh. That's a good point. Right. But that's not, because uh, the way you said should I, leads me to say that, because that, I'm saying like, she referred me to your museum, like, no, she didn't, but that's, I wonder how he found out about the connection to Malia Getty and the Voodoo Museum, I forget. I'd have to like, look back at my earlier videos to see what that was about. But anyway, we're uh, done here, for now. Hmm. Goodbye, Dr. John. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. Goodbye, Mr. Bond. What? What? That's what it sounded like to me. <laughs> Alright, let's head to the Dixieland drugstore. We gotta get that voodoo, that, uh, that mask. Uh -huh. Let's talk to him. Can I ask you just a few more questions? Whatever, man. <laughs> Whatever, man. Alright, uh, let's ask you about Willie Jr. About Willie Jr.? Would you be willing to let him go? Hmm, maybe. For a hundred dollars. hundred dollars? A hundred bucks? You've got to be kidding. Me and Willie Jr. are very close, now. I could part with him for less. Well, at least we know how much he wants. Now let's see if we can find a way to get that hundred dollars. The only thing Gabriel has that could possibly be worth that is a painting that he has in his bookstore. Well, let's see if they'll want to buy it. Someone will want to buy it. Maybe someone will just walk Lucy, in. Lucy, I haul. <laughs> really? I forgot you were gone. Uh, maybe someone will actually want that painting when we and we'll walk in and ask us for it. Oh, look! Here comes someone now. See? Told you. Hey, kids. Bruno, how nice. Gee, a customer. <laughs> Yours. Hardly. <laughs> How's the flower business? Well, better than the used book business, I see. Wow. Rare books. Yeah. That explains why I so rarely see oh, one. Oh, damn. Day. Are you going to sell me that wonderful painting of yours today? Actually, I was actually thinking about it. How much would you give me for it? How much would you give me for it, Bruno? Gabriel. Don't you dare sell your father's painting. Stay out of this, Grace. Stay out of this, Grace. Ooh, you're serious. You'll let me have it? Yeah, I'll let you have yeah, it, alright. I'll let you have it, alright. Yeah. How much for the painting? Hmm. Well, I could give you a hundred. That's all I can let go at the moment, you know. My fares are so tied up. 
Gabriel, a hundred dollars for your father's- I'll handle this, Grace. Grace, let me deal with this. Yeah. I mean, normally I would be like, fuck that, but I need that hundred dollars, so here, take Fine. it. It's yours. Gabriel? Here, here's the hundred. You better take good care of this, Bruno. See, he's showing how anxious he wanted that painting. So, he could probably have gotten two hundred dollars for it. Most of its display, though not for your sake, I'm sure. At least in my shop, there'll be a chance of someone actually seeing it. Hmm. I can't believe I actually got it. Yeah. Wait until I show Sid. I hope Gabriel gets that painting back in a later game. I mean, that was his father's, you know. I don't believe you. It, it's just a painting, Grace. There are things I have to do. Right. But I think it hurt him that he had to get rid of it, but who knows, maybe in the later game he gets it back. Have fun. I'm hoping he gets it back anyway. Let's uh head to uh yeah, back here so we can buy the animal mask. Hi. Uh -huh. Yeah. Here's your hundred bucks. Give me that mask. I have a hundred dollars. You still want to sell that crocodile mask? That's a hundred dollars, sure enough. The mask, it's yours, sir. Yeah. Damn nice, man. Here you go. Careful it don't bite you now. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, thank you. All right. Don't you go forgetting your lagging up? A free bottle of master gambling oil. Well, I was told I get Lady the Luck oil. said I could get Lady Luck oil instead. Yeah. Well, I wasn't thinking a man as young as you would be. <laughs> that kind of but if you have problems with your. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. I don't, I don't need that. I don't need that. I'll just yeah. stick with this. Thanks. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> It ain't none of my business if you do need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> of course you don't. Oh, that's funny. That's immensely funny. All right, let's get out of here. Now let's head to Napoleon House. Because, loot or not, we want to help this guy win this chess game. Because he will owe us a favor then. Got a second, Sam? It's about your game. I don't have a game. That's my problem. Don't you touch those chess pieces while I'm gone, you bastard. Thought you might be interested in this gambling oil. Let me see that. Master gambling oil. What's it for? Don't you ever wonder why Marcus wins every time? Don't you ever wonder why Marcus wins every time? Get out of here. Marcus would never use something like this. If you want to believe that. If that's what you want to believe. This is a powerful voodoo oil. This is a powerful voodoo oil. Ah, go on. Really? Really? Yeah, could make a nun get lucky. This voodoo oil could make a nun get lucky. Really? You think it really works, huh? Yeah, I know it does. My reputation is a novelist. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Uh, novel. Reputation novelist. You have a reputation novelist? Since when, Gabriel? That explains a lot. <laughs> Let me see that bottle. I mean... Oh, this looks authentic. Oh, it is. If I could really beat that bastard. Stonewall, give me a Pim's cup, would you? Coming up, Sam. I mean, if you have a legitimate reputation of novelist... Careful. You don't want to overdo when you when you wouldn't have that little dinky bookstore, right? <laughs> Just saying. Alright. We'll see about that misty smarty, smarty big, big mouth. mouth. Yeah. And he wins. Checkmate! <laughs> Checkmate, you bastard! Son of a bitch! <laughs> I've been uh, waiting to say that. Checkmate, checkmate, checkmate. <laughs> you are the biggest butthead Sam Singleton that I ever met. Checkmate. You. You. You're in just one. Damn, he's a sore loser. Sun don't shine. Yeah, what a sore loser. Hallelujah, I did it. 
Yippee! Yeah. Nice game. Nice game. Hell, that was brilliant. I was brilliant. Yeah. Oh, so I gotta give some of the credit to that oil of yours. Yeah. I've been losing to that guy for 20 years. If you ever need a favor, you come to send me here. Will do. And it's funny you ask about a favor because you're a jeweler, uh, I'm, I believe, and you can do something with this for us. Do anything with this? What is this? A clay mold? Hmm. Well, I am a jeweler, you know. Hmm. And I owe you one. Would you like me to cast this for you? I would appreciate it. Thanks. If you can. Yeah. You got it, pal. Actually, it'll be a pleasure to get my tools out first time in years. Mm -hmm. I've been too busy playing that goddamn game. I'll have the bracelet tomorrow. Meet me here. Awesome. Great. Thanks. Alright, so let's head out. And if my calculations are correct... Yep, the day's ended. Gabriel decides to go home for the day. Hmm. Alright, awesome. That's the end of day three. Gabriel heads, gets off his motorcycle, walks inside, Grace leaves the shop, looks like everything's turning out just like every other day, and uh, oh, oh. Excuse me, I'm going inside. Oh, uh, excuse me, I'm afraid St. George's is closed. Grace. Today. I'm not a customer, I'm here to see the owner. Oh, Grace, but out already. Why don't you just leave your name and number with me, and I'll tell him you stop by. Listen, if Gabriel is here, he'll yeah. want to see me. Is he here? Grace. Well, I couldn't say for certain, but in the morning... Gracie, Gracie. say good night. Say good night. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I didn't think you would. I didn't think I would either. Your eyes. Mm. Oh, I could show you around a little. Yeah, it's not much, but... Please, don't. I couldn't focus on much of anything right now. Yeah, I know. God, what is it about you? Just shut up and kiss me. Mm. Wow. <sighs> and now, it's day four. I spoke to one who smelled of death. He gave to me his ears, and crosses that were marked were made into a veil of tears. Aren't she leaves? Oh wow! For once, Gabriel doesn't have a nightmare. I'm shocked. Oh look, who the hell is this person at the window? That's suspicious. Gabriel gets his coffee, and she's not talking to him. You're not speaking to me this <laughs> morning. Don't be silly. No, uh -huh. I just have nothing to say. You're you totally find out jealous about that pattern I gave you. Yeah, I did find something. I checked the microfiche at the public library. I found an article about a murder in 1810. The newspaper published a part of a pattern mm. around the body. It looks damn close. 1810, huh? You're We've been working incredible. that far back. All that work. Forget it. Have it your way. Nah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, let's let's read the paper. See if there's any good news in it. Probably not. Times the hewn. Ah, it's about the Voodoo murders. Let's see what that's about. 1900 to 93. Gabriel's eye is immediately drawn to an article about the voodoo murders. Mm -hmm. He scans it quickly. I don't believe this. They've okay, closed not the good case. news. What case? The voodoo murders case. The paper says that the police have learned that the murders were the result of an underworld cartel war and that the war is over. That's not good? It's ridiculous. What about the killers? And a voodoo angle, they never got anything on that. I know you were into it, Gabriel. But if it's over, that's hardly a negative. Mm. Anyway, if you're that upset, why don't you talk it over with your pal Mosley? You don't get it, Grace. Just forget it, okay? Gabriel decides to yeah. check his horoscope. Despite, Despite disgust. disgust. Yeah. Death 
walks close to him today. Resist temptation, lest his eye fall on you too. Peachy. Yeah, Peachy is right. All right, let's see if we can tell this guy to, to get away. Get the hell out of here. The figure outside does not respond. Hmm, who is that? Have you noticed this guy outside the shop? Yeah, he gives me the creeps. I wish he'd go away. Yeah, so do I, but anyway, let's save here. I'm gonna save with the same save we used before. And hopefully it worked this time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more good romance. Sense of the Fathers. Stay tuned for future videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave comments, click that bell, subscribe right to keep your day about future videos upload, and I will see you next time. And next time we will start day four. See what mysteries and excitement awaits Gabriel on day four. But for now, bye bye.